uh, when it comes to the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker, he is now broken in silence, saying that they have received Shinde's letter and they will wet all of the signatures because uh, it is all that comes down to the numbers and the support that uh, Eknath Shinde seems to be receiving. And thereafter, after uh, a probable likely appointment with the governor, the call would be made if there would be a floor test that could happen next. Listen in. उसका क्या सिलसिला है उसमे दो तीन है वो पक्ष है All right, going across to Arunil once again on this. Arunil, what happens to the role of the speaker here now? Because he has now been saying the deputy speaker they have received Eknath Shinde's letter. Well, uh, he is a deputy speaker. Uh, Amita basically Narhari Jhar. The reason for that is there is no speaker in the uh, Maharashtra Assembly. Now, what happens when he when he has sent the letter? He belongs to the Mahavikas Agadi Party. He has uh, now it, a lot will depend upon how he decides, and that is why probably BJP has not swung into action. They want a full fledged uh, plan on this, and the governor's involvement also becomes extremely uh, paramount in this. Now here he is saying that I have received a letter uh, in which there are signatures of the Shiv Sena MLAs who have given their support to Eknath Shinde, and accordingly we will uh, take all on this. But everything has to be decided on the floor of the house. Sanjay Raut is also mentioning that we want the rebel MLAs to come back to Mumbai, and according to the CM Uddhav Thackeray camp, they are confident that the rebel MLAs will swing back uh, towards CM Uddhav Thackeray. Now coming back to the uh, to the role of the deputy speaker as i was pointing out earlier he is uh, basically it may be a constitutional post but he is from the mahavikas agadi and his role becomes extremely paramount in this